While the general budget will be tabled in Parliament on Thursday, the economic survey has been presented before the House. NNIS caught up with market expert Akash Jindal to get a sense of what he makes out of the document. Akash Jindal said that the economic survey points at certain good things. He said the document is clear that the government is serious about fiscal consolidation. The document, according to the market expert, is also proof that the fiscal deficit will be reduced. He said the idea one gets is that the GDP ratio will be increased. He said those wanting certain relief in terms of tax, they might be left disappointed. I think the economic survey points towards certain good things. The government seems to be very clear and very sure about the idea of fiscal consolidation and that's something which the country requires. The government wants to require, uh, re, uh, reduce the fiscal deficit and that's very important. Though uh, certain measures which the government may take, the potential measures which uh, the government may take in the budget, they may not be very populist measures. Because what has been said today is that we have to in, perhaps increase the tax GDP ratio. So what it means is that perhaps for those people who were expecting certain taxation swaps, certain tax incentives, certain reliefs in income tax or indirect taxes, perhaps tomorrow reliefs may not be there. He said rationalization of subsidies might not go well with the people. He said the GDP target was achievable. Today what has been talked and discussed is a rationalization of subsidies on food and fertilizers. Now that may not go well with some of the masses, though again, it's a step towards fiscal prudence. Then uh, GDP target has been kept between 5.4 to 5.9. I think it's an achievable target. Akash Jindal said that if the government want to move away from populism, then they will have to take some tough steps if it wish to work on fiscal prudence and fiscal consolidation. Meanwhile, he underlined that Sadan and Gora with his rail budget has set the right tone for the general budget. The government wants to move away from populism. The government wants to go towards fiscal prudence, fiscal consolidation. Now that may require some tough stances to be taken, which may not appear very nice initially, apparently, but ultimately they are going to be good for the economy. I would rather say Mr. Gauda made a very good statement that what we are doing may seem bitter medicine but it may be ultimately nectar. So I think what I can uh, perhaps predict is that tomorrow's budget also may be on the same lines. Powered by NNIS.